Vitaminsport.com and vitaminsport.com. Uh, today's video is going to be something a little different. Um, I just got out of the hospital uh, about 2014 in August. It was actually August 28th, I believe, in 2014. I had pulmonary, em pulmonary emboli and a DVT, deep vein thrombosis in my left leg, which are blood clots. Uh, I've spoke about it probably a hundred times on this channel, and um, I was put on a medication called Xeralto, which is a blood thinner, and <clears throat> was told I would be on anticoagulants for the rest of my life. Now, I've been on that medication the whole time, and I've had some, you know, setbacks with uh, clotting, and <clears throat> just this past Tuesday, I was walking, I felt very unhealthy Monday night, very weak, I thought I was coming down with something, kept complaining to my wife like a little baby, like the man cold, that something was wrong, and um, in the middle of the night woke up with extreme anxiety, so much so that I couldn't go back to bed, um, I felt just completely out of touch with life, like I just felt like I was losing everything. and. That's not the truth. Um, so the anxiety was overwhelming. I went downstairs, started watching TV, did whatever I could to take my mind off of the anxiety, uh, <clears throat> took some of my own products, and I just sat there. I waited for my family to wake up. My wife gets up and I tell her, you know, I have no energy, something's wrong. She's like, you just got the cold. You got a cold, relax. And we keep joking back and forth about the man cold because it's a real thing. Guys act 10 times worse than women do and we completely shut down. They don't. They continue on. They do what they have to do and uh, they have it much harder than most men. So <clears throat> it got to a point where I told her, you know, I feel extremely weak. She's like, I'm going to make you something to, to eat for breakfast. Sorry, I have uh, family here. Um, so she starts cutting me up some fruit. And I leave the couch and I start walking towards our island in our kitchen and I start to see purple. Now I've passed out in the past uh, from heat exhaustion. I know what happens. Your body starts to slow down. I started to perspirate. My uh, heart rate sped up. I got onto the stool at the island and she turned around to cut me up some, uh, some oranges and I went out. Now, I was out for about 30 seconds. She said when I came to, I was mumbling. Um, I didn't bite my tongue. I didn't hit my head. Uh, I was able to get myself on the floor when I came to because I just slunched over in the, in the, in the stool. And um, I just laid on the floor. My wife reacted com faster than anything. She called 911 right away. Uh, the sad thing is this happened in front of my wife and two kids. The good thing is that she was there because if she wasn't there, who knows what would happen. Um, I was taken to the hospital in an ambulance. They ran tests on me, about eight different tests. I didn't know there were that many tests because they didn't run that many the first time I was there. But they wanted to know why I'm still clotting when I'm on this medication. So there was no answer. Um, what I did hear from a pulmonary specialist is that when I passed out, I shouldn't have woken up. I should have died. It was my second bout with PEs. Now, I didn't know much about PEs before I had them, but if you Google them, they take people out all the time. Very dangerous. And I've had two bouts with them. I've had three bouts with DVTs. So they're gonna put me on a much more manageable um, dose of Xeralto. I have a hematologist that I'm gonna have to see quite frequently now, probably once every two weeks, so they can keep a close eye on my blood. Um, may even have to sh change to shooting Lovenox into my stomach for the rest of my life. But the, the bottom line is, is that I almost died. And when that happens to you, nothing else matters, okay? The only thing you think about is your family. You don't really care about anything else because it's humbling. Because you think, you know, I have a very intense personality. I don't listen to people as much as I should. I think I know everything when I don't. And <clears throat> when the world is about to be taken from you, 
and you know, you're worried about your kids not having a father and your wife not having a husband, you gotta start listening to anybody that's gonna give you advice on how you're gonna stay alive. So, it was a very, very intense week this week. That's why there was no videos. There was some chatter um, on the YouTube channel. I did comment on somebody's comment. I replied to them, letting them know what, ha what did happen. Um, and I truly thank you all for the support. Some people were asking to do donations and stuff. I don't, I don't need donations. I don't need anything. I just love positive people um, spreading positive vibes and, and prayers and stuff like that. That's fantastic. I don't need anything from anybody. But uh, the thought and the kind words and everything has been fantastic. And, you know, I am an emotional guy. I sat there and I, you know, I get emotional when I see people share that they care. So I really, really appreciate everybody um, being so kind. And uh, shout out to my wife, because my, my wife's the one that saved my life. I know I talk her up, but I can't talk her up any more than I already have. And it's true. I'm lucky. All right, so videos will be back on Monday, as long as I'm not in the hospital, and uh, I don't plan to ever go back. Um, but uh, I am a little lethargic. I guess that's just from laying in a hospital bed for so many days. I'm just like, you know, a little off. But for the most part, I got a pretty good head on my shoulders right now. It's almost like a recalibration. It's like, I was going somewhere really good, on my last video, I was reading, and then this just took it to a whole new level. So, expect some really good stuff in the near future. I've been writing. Um, I actually wrote all day today, so uh, I got some ideas. All right, hopefully it could help some people and they can grasp what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'll see you guys next week. If you do want to share your story, your recovery story, you can email me at ryan at compsupport.com. In the subject line, put YouTube story, my story. Let me know if you want to use your first or last name or stay anonymous. Continue watching. Thanks for all the support. I'm healthy, and uh, it's good to still be here. I'll see you guys Monday. Thanks.